And the governor laid it down, didn't he? That's right. He we did. got a long list of what the governor had to say. Number one, the cases are growing in our state. We're up to 42 now. The latest case going on in Baltimore City. We are seeing a surge in health care system, more boots on the ground, helping deliver meals and enforce executive orders and major changes to our daily lives. Like tonight, all bars, all restaurants, all movie theaters, the place that you work out closed until further notice and this is an executive order right now effective as at five o'clock tonight we are bringing you team coverage tonight we begin with abby isaacs from towson after talking to businesses about the impact that they're going to see there we specialize in new york pizza as close as we can get to new york a slice of new york in the heart of towson customers come from all over but everything is about to change they may sound extreme they will be terribly disruptive but they are also absolutely necessary to save the lives of hundreds of thousands of Americans. Governor Larry Hogan ordered all bars, restaurants, gyms and movie theaters closed down effective at this hour to stop the spread of COVID-19. The impact on small businesses remains to be seen. And we have our bills to pay and gas and electric and landlords to pay and our food distributors, our supplies, everything has to be paid for. So if we close our doors. It's not good. Drive through, carry out and delivery options are still allowed. Paul Rizas prepared as much as he could starting a delivery service. Starting delivery is going to be a big, uh, a big help for this. So for the customers who don't want to leave their homes, we'll bring the food to them. Ahead of the five o'clock statewide closure, people heading out to their favorite local spots. I wanted to support some of the local businesses before the final closure happens. The Maryland Departments of Commerce and Labor have compiled resources to help businesses whose daily operations are affected by the state of emergency, including how to apply for federal financial assistance and unemployment insurance claims. Some businesses have opted to voluntarily close entirely. Others, like fitness studios, are scrambling to put together online trainings or outdoor workouts, adapting their business to keep people safe. It's not a wonderful thing that's happening but it's for a reason and we all have to adapt and we have to fight through it. Now the governor again made a number of changes today. He also announced that there shouldn't be gatherings any more than 50 people, which is consistent with the CDC guidelines. We have a link to resources for businesses impacted on our website.